always can't sit in here all day staring at the wall. I'm thinking. Come on. Cheer up. This will pass. I'm tired of feeling so <laughs> closed. It won't always be this way. It's easy for you to say your life is perfect. It's not perfect. Yes, it is. It's your perfect husband. Mom and dad's house. A baby. Even your goddamn cat is perfect. You could teach yours to go in the toilet, too. Please, please. I don't understand why you left me. I mean, am I that unbearable? Am I frigid? There's nothing wrong with you. Stop thinking like that. <laughs> we were going to get married. We were going to... Now you're not. You're living here with me until you get on your feet, and that's that. Stop living in the past. It's time to move on. You don't even care what I'm going through. You don't even want to listen to me. I don't have time for this. How can I move on when I'm stuck here in these fucking four walls again? It's not that bad. Oh. I just redecorated. It is a prison. I'm done coddling you. I have to make a bottle for the baby. What's wrong? I don't want my parents to hear. Their room is right down the hall. Oh, come on, babe. We're not kids anymore. I think they'll understand. <laughs> no, sweetie, no, we can't. My parents are very old-fashioned and they'll hear us. These walls are thin. Yeah, but they know we live together. What do you think they think we do? <laughs> Actually, they don't. What? You haven't told them? No, I haven't. Why? I'm sorry. I can't talk about stuff like that with my parents, okay? Yeah, because who would want to have a normal conversation with your parents? Tell them things like, hey, I met this guy. He's great. I love him. And we lived together. Don't be like that. It's not that easy with my parents. Yeah, well, they know we're dating, right? It's not like I'm just some random guy you brought home for the weekend. Of course they know we're dating. But we haven't had relations yet. Come on, that seemed to recall that we have. <laughs> many, many times, in fact. <laughs> no, we haven't. Not that I've ever talked about this with them, my mom, but I'm sure they think I'm still... I'm sure they think I'm saving myself for marriage. Ha! <laughs> you a virgin? That's a crock. You weren't even a virgin when I met you. Derek, please. I couldn't be sexy in this room if I tried anyway. Oh, my doll's looking at me. I don't want to go sleep on the couch, okay? Yeah, right. If these walls could talk.
could you let this happen, Grace? I don't know. How could you be so stupid? You just can't do that and not expect consequences. And you know that would happen. Nobody ever told don't me how- Don't blame anybody else for your problems. This is your fault. You did this. Everything's gonna be okay. I'm gonna help you. Should we tell mom? Are you crazy? Mom would have you out on the streets if she knew about this. No. We have to keep this a secret. I hate keeping secrets. Tomorrow, I'll take you to a clinic that I know about. They'll make it like it never happened. How can I act like it never happened? Mom and Dad are going to find out. No, they're not. Because you were going to put on a smile and act normal. But what if they do find out? They won't. They wouldn't understand. Trust me. And you're not going to involve any more people in your problems. You've already got me wrapped up all in this. Sorry. I'll take you to the clinic tomorrow. Mom and Dad never have to know. You know, <sighs> never mind. Get some sleep. Good night. carrying these boxes or what? I'm tired. So am I. You don't see me giving up. Well, maybe I'm not a workhorse like you. Maybe I just suck. <sighs> all right, where is this all coming from? I don't want to be here. I hate it here. <sighs> Sweetheart, it's not always going to be this way. It's going to get better. That's easy for you to say. You didn't have to give up everything you had. You made me leave my school, my team, all my friends. I had to give up a lot when I was your age. But you're right. No one made me. 
I had a choice and I chose to have you instead. God, are you trying to make me feel guilty? Oh, I wish I was never born. No, sweetheart, it's, it's not that. It's just... You are the best decision I ever made. And you're all I ever had. You are all that I ever need. That's lame, Mom. I need my friends, other people. <laughs> You've got me. I'll be your friend. You're my mom, not my friend. Sorry, I didn't mean that. It's okay. I, I know that you need friends your own age. I just... And I know that you're going to make new friends. You just, you just need to give it time. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. You can be my friend. So long as you are always open with me, I'll be happy. Oh, of course, you don't have to share the little stuff, but the big stuff, I hope you do share with me. I don't want any secrets between us. I will always love and accept you. Or what? Thanks, Mom. I didn't know you never had that. No, I didn't. But I'm gonna make damn sure that you do. Did Grandma never talk to you again? Uh, no, um, not really. She, um, she was a closed off person and she's from a different era and I don't think that she even knew how to relate to me. Not like you and me. At least you try. Thank God that I finally did something right. Before we finish unpacking, we should burn some sage and clear out all of this old energy. And we can start fresh. Whatever, Mom, you're such a hippie. <laughs> well, yeah, and I'm proud of it, baby. Peace. Come here, honey.